Hey guys, oh, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel. And I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Before I get into this video, I do want to talk about my hair because I know this is different. Um, yeah, so this past week, um, I got my hair done. And this is literally day two with this hair done. Um, literally day two, so I am still in a bit of pain on my scalp. But yeah, I got the Senegalese twist because I really have been wanting them since they even came out. Um, but I just, I never care to put weave in my hair. I've never had to put like weave or wear a wig in my hair um, just because my hair was always naturally long. Um, my family is, uh, we do have like a lineage of Cherokee Indians, like actual Cherokee Indians from the tribe and all that in my family. So I've had relatives who had like super long hair that they could sit on. So my hair has always naturally been long. Um, but I took my sister to the hair salon on Tuesday to get her hair braided because she wanted her hair braided. And my sister's 13 years old. She'll be 14 this year. Um, and actually next month. Wow. She'll be 14. It's crazy. But, um, yeah, so when I was there, I asked the lady how much this look would be because there's actually a person, I, I saw a lady's, um, hairstyle and I really liked it and she had purple, she had it done in burgundy and she also had it done in blue. I really was obsessed with purple. I've been wanting purple in my hair since my last birthday, which was last year. So I asked her, she told me the price. I told my mom and my mom was like, you want to get it done? I was like, yeah, sure, if I can. And she paid for it to get done the next day. So today's day two with this hairstyle. Still have a little bit of tension on my scalp like it was a hassle to sleep but yeah i just wanted to get that out the way it is pretty long my natural hair goes past my boobs this hair goes literally to my hip bone right above my butt so it's pretty long it is heavy as ever um it took six hours i don't know if i would ever do it again like ever it took a quarter of my day like those six hours are the six hours that i normally do work so I don't know. Um, it's interesting. I'm going to try to keep this in my hair for two months. That's the goal. Two months. Um, and I want other colors. Like I want to get it done in a burgundy. I want to get it done in blue. And I want to like get it done in black. But I don't know if I could sit through six hours of this again. It's really cute though. So yeah. Anyways, the video is going to be my February, yeah, February book haul, and I have a few things laid out, already organized, so we're just going to tackle this video, hopefully it's not too long, starting off with the Bibles. So the first Bible I have for you guys, I literally just did a review on, and it is the Crossway ESB Gospel Transformation Study Bible. It's Christ in all scripture, grace for all of life, and I love this Bible so much. This does come in like other um, kind of bind-ups. But I do love the hardcover only because I like the print on the hardcover. Um, this Bible is amazing. It basically takes the gospel and shows shows you how it's woven throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament. And I really like that. Um, for a study Bible, it does lack some things that I personally like, like in-text maps and in-text articles. But it is very heavy on explaining the gospel in each book of the Bible, which I do love. So this is definitely one that I don't consider essential, but it would be a great, like a really great resource to use. If you haven't already seen it, the review, you can just click the eye on the screen for that. But I do recommend this if you're looking for like a secondary or tertiary Bible to have for studying. So again, it is the ESV Gospel Transformation Study Bible from Crossway. The next Bible is also a study Bible, and I actually did a review on this as well, so you can click the on the screen for that. But this is the Worsby Study Bible, Be Transformed by the Power of God's Word. It was um, done by Warren Worsby. This is from Thomas Nelson. Yeah, Thomas Nelson. I have the black leather soft, and there's also a hardcover and other editions. Um, I did a review on this. I told you guys my thoughts. It's okay. Um, I do enjoy, like, the articles in here, but... For a study Bible, I just would not have purchased it if I would not have gotten it um, as a review book, a review Bible rather. Um, I just feel like everything that was in here is probably within his B commentary series. So if you want something from Warren Worsby, I would say just pick up the B commentary series and you'll be fine. Um, because I feel like these notes are the same thing in there. I do, however, think this is a great Bible for like pastors and stuff because there's like preaching outlines and whatnot in here. But um, I love the articles in here for real like i really do but um you, like i said you can click the honest screen to see the review on that all right moving on and sorry you guys i have some coffee here from dunkin donuts i literally just made um some orange juice earlier but um i got coffee and it is a caramel iced coffee with extra caramel four sugars and milk yes 
very sweet i love that um and my mom got me on that but um okay so i have two books here that i actually like well technically i didn't purchase it my mother purchased it but um yeah we me and her got the same kind of book and this was something i've been having my eye on for about a year now I just didn't want to take the plunge to get it because I knew that once I purchased it and once I actually studied these two books, things was going to um, start to move in motion as far as elevation for me spiritually um, within the church and without, like, with not within the church and within the church, if that makes sense. Um, the elevation that God has me at is, like, going to progress, like, quickly. And I'm pre I'm prepared, but I'm scared. But my mom ended up purchasing. She wanted her copy so bad. So I was like, sure, fine, why not? So she bought two of each. Um, and they are called the Demon Dictionary. And they're by Kim Kimberly Daniels. And I know that sounds so weird to hear the word Demon Dictionary. But, um... This is volume one of the Demon Dictionary, and this is Know Your Enemy, Learn His Strategies, and Defeat Him. So, basically, it's literally just definitions and terms and um, understanding the different things. So, let me just show you guys, run through the um, contents. So, you have your general terms and definitions, your biblical spirit. So, it really does go through, like, all the spirits, um, and not, like, you know, like, like the good spirits, the, you know, the fruits of the spirits. This is more of like the demonic spirits, um, such as, let me see, the spirit of jealousy, the perverse spirit, um, the spirit of heaviness, the lying spirit, the spirit of infirmity, the spirit of whoredom. Like it really just goes into depth about each, um, as well as with scriptures and stuff like that. Um, it goes through esoteric definitions. I can't pronounce that word for nothing. Um, it, it's, it's just a, a, a book that really um demons removed only through fasting and prayer so like she goes through the different demons that can only be removed through those things um and yeah so that's volume one it's kind of hard to explain i'll leave a link down below to amazon so you guys can personally check it out yourselves and really understand it but um it says it builds your spiritual vocabulary it equips you with ammunition and weapons for spiritual warfare it increases your knowledge of cultic and demonic words names places and things and it brings to light areas of your life that the enemy wants to remain dark so we have volume one and then volume two is all about um an expose on cultural practices symbols myth and the loose luciferian doctrine so this one is um about the wiccan beliefs european folklore american cults and secret societies african hispanic and native american folklore astrology the paranormal and so much more um and again this still helps you building your spiritual vocabulary and equipping you for spiritual warfare so this is volume two and this is volume one and my first lady slash my senior pastor at my church um she is very much very very heavy um, when it comes to learning about spiritual warfare and the different demons and things like that. She really likes us to know that stuff for ourselves so that we're not kept in the dark. And I've been wanting to learn it so bad. But I know that once I um, actually like open my eyes, it's going to be hard. Um, hard in a sense of having to now deal with these actual spirits. And um, I don't feel like I'm strong enough to deal with those spirits as of yet so i do have these um they were not expensive you can get them on amazon i think they were like 11 or 10 dollars a piece they're less than 12 dollars a piece so links will be down below but my mom and i both got a copy and um i think this is very essential if you really want to get into intercessory prayer or just spiritual warfare in general um or just to keep your own knowledge but i will say beware that if you do get these books be prepared for a battle like a spiritual battle because once you open your eyes to a new level of the spirit realm there are going to be attacks so i'm hesitant to read this like immediately my mom is used to that stuff because our old church um the church that we first originally came from they taught my mom a lot of that stuff so my mom is into the whole spiritual warfare and demons and knowing the names and things like that of demons she knows those kind of things um for me it's very brand new um and i don't want to rush myself into it so i do have them in for my personal library if that makes sense but i'm gonna take some time before i get into those <laughs> hopefully that makes sense so yeah they're by kimberly daniels um and here is what she looks like so yeah okay moving on 
um, from Moody Publishers. I don't think I have anything. I'm missing a book actually from Moody Publishers, and it's supposed to be the Revelations um, commentary. I'll post a picture here of what that looks like. That has still not come in the mail yet. I don't know what happened, so I actually have to contact the company and let them know I still have yet to receive that book. Um, because there's like so many books that I want from them, but you know, in order to get those books, you have to uh, review the books that were sent, and that book had just never came to me. It probably got lost in transit or something. So I need to contact them. But um, I did sign up on their Moody Publishers for Women website where they give free resources to um, leaders that are like within the church or that have ministries. And because I do have Daughter of Increase and I am a, a leader in my church ministry, um, I was able to request this stuff. And I always request a lot. I've hauled a lot of their stuff before. So again, I have samples of their Bible studies, of course. So I have His Last Words by Kim Erickson and that's on John 13 to 17 and these are just samples so they're literally like one week excerpts this one is included in Christ this one is by Heather Holman and I do actually have a full size that I requested which is included in Christ so this is going to be on Ephesians it's an eight week study of Ephesians so I have those um, I have He is Enough, Living the Fullness of Christ, Living in the Fullness of Christ. I can never pronounce this lady's name. She was well known on YouTube, so yeah, her. Um, but yeah, this is a six-week Bible study of Colossians. Then I have Who Do You Say That I Am by Becky Harling. This is an eight-week study. It's, um, A Fresh Encounter for Deeper Faith. This one is If God is for Us, a six-week study on Romans 8, The Everlasting Truth of Our Great Salvation by Trulia Newbell. This is actually their latest um, Bible study that they have out. And if you guys are interested in their Bible studies, you can actually find Moody Publisher on netgalley.com. Um, netgalley.com, I will do a video on that. I'm, I'm late on doing a lot of videos. I apologize. But you can get a lot of like their Bible studies and books um, on e like ebook form for review prior to them being published. So they do have another one coming out. So I do own that Bible study already. Um, then it says, I am found by Laura Dingman, quitting the game of hide and seek with God and others. It's a six week, six week Bible study. And this one is An Unexplainable Life um, by Erica Wiggenhorn. This is Acts 1 through 12. It's a 10 week Bible study. Um, and it's Recovering the Wonder and Devotion of the Early Church. Um, obviously, there are other Bible studies. You guys have seen me haul this stuff so much time. If you want to see a complete collection of the Moody Publishers, um, women's bible study let me know because i do literally own every single one already like i love them so much because their bible studies are done in more of like a devotional style and i kind of like devotional style bible studies but um i also have two copies of let me move that i don't even know that was a letter but i have two copies of their um moody publisher women's kind of um i don't even know what this would be called but they're like a uh, monthly newsletter kind of things if you will so this one is going to be issue number eight and it's called remember so i have two extra copies because i already owned a copy of it um and on the back here are all the studies that they have out currently so there are nine studies currently out with um three of them having dvd sessions there is a tenth one coming out as well so moving on I don't have anything from Joyce Meyer because I didn't find anything from her that I wanted but I do have a few things from our daily bread slash discovery series so from Discovery Series, I, of course, got more booklets because they're free and I love these. So, we have I Am The Way. This one is called Biblical Meditation. This one is One of Us. This is called The Gospel, so it goes through the four Gospels. This is The Sermon on the Mount. And this is the Passion of Christ, as well as How Can I Know God Through His Book. So basically, if you go to discoveryseries.org, you can purchase a bunch of these mini booklets. Um, they're perfectly, perfectly, they're um, completely 100% free, so you can just order them. Some of them, you so um, yeah, I highly recommend if you're interested in like doing like min miniature studies, these are great for that. So those are 100% free. Um, and then because I do get the Our Daily Bread devotional, which they send out quarterly, they always have it where you can sign up for little things. Um, I, so I have the Our Daily Bread devotional, and I'm also a part of their media club. So um, they send out little cards every now and then for you to sign up for things. So the first thing I have is Dear God, It's Me. 
and it's urgent. This is Prayers for Every Season of a Woman's Life by Marion Stroud. Then I have another copy of God Hears Her. It's a 365 devotion for women by women from Our Daily Bread. I do own the hardcover, which is here. I actually paid for this, like, I paid $5 for that. But, um, this I did get free, so you will definitely see this in a future giveaway. Okay, so one of the ladies from Daughter of Increase, I follow, I follow a bunch of you guys on Facebook, but um, and I, I honestly cannot remember her name right now, and I'm so sorry if I can find it, I'll put it on the screen, but she posted an image of some books that she had gotten for free, and um, they really seemed interesting, so I looked up the author to find out where she got them from, and um, the website is, oh my god, um, bjnewlife.org. That's the website, and they basically have a bunch of different, like, books based on the books of the Bible, but the books um, are sermons on the different books of the Bibles. So I signed up, and I got two of them, and they're both by Paul C. Jong, and if I'm not mistaken, the people that write these are not um, American, they're from, like, other countries, but um, I decided to try them out myself and see how they are as far as resources. So I got one on Genesis. This is Sermons on Genesis. This is the first one. And it's The Will of the Holy Trinity for Human Beings by Paul C. Jong. And it's literally just Sermons on Genesis. And um, this goes for a few chapters of Genesis. I'm trying to see. It goes, yeah, this is literally on Genesis 1. So this is literally on the whole um, book of Genesis, the not the book, but the first chapter of Genesis. Um, let's see. Yeah, just the first chapter of Genesis pretty much is what this on. Oh, there's actually stuff in here, okay. So I have this one, which is on Genesis chapter 1. It's just a bunch of sermons that were um, written. Then I also have one on the Gospel of John. This is also on just John chapter 1. It's called The Love of God Revealed Through Jesus, The Only Begotten Son, also by Paul C. Jong. I haven't read them yet. I'll see how I feel about those once I read them. But we have that. Alright, so next we have um, from Zondervan. This is from Book Look Blogger. I only had um, this book in the Bible. But this is from Rashad Jennings. And it's the... Coin slot chronicle, sorry, it's called Arcade and the Triple T Token. And I thought this was super cute for my son to read when he gets older, but I personally do want to read it myself. I love the illustration on it. Um, I am all for it. The color is vibrant, and there are illustrations in this book. Like, so as you're reading it, you get cute little illustrations throughout. And um, Rashad Jennings, I don't really know who he is. I think he is a pro football player. Don't quote me on that. Here's another illustration. So, like, there are cute little illustrations throughout. Um, let me see. Rashad Jennings. Yes, he is a pro football um, player. He's actually retired, and now he's an author. But, yeah, this is who Rashad Jennings is. I, I don't watch football. I'm not a sports person. But um, I just, I enjoyed this uh, book cover so much, and I love that the actual design is on the book. Sorry about the light. <laughs> But, yeah, I got this from my son, but I'm probably going to read it myself because I like kind of reading YA middle grade stories, so we have that. Alright, next we have B&H Books, which works with Lifeway, and I have five of the books from this past month. So, this one is called Scrappy Church, God's Not Done Yet by Tom S. Rayner. There is another book by Tom S. Rayner that I own. Um, I haven't fully completed reading it, but it was actually interesting, and his other book was this small as well, so I can't wait to dive into this. And it just says, how many times have we heard the statement, um, we can't compete with the mega, oh, we can't compete with a mega church in our town. A new church has started two blocks away from us. We've got plenty of churches without them. The church bought another one of their campuses near us. It's totally unethical. What are they doing? Um, so these, uh, basically they say these are the statements of hopelessness, statements of despair, and statements of defeat. It says church leaders don't want to feel this way. The desire to break out of the mediocrity of the same lame and tame existence of their churches they want their churches to make a difference there is hope god's hope god's possibility what does a scrappy church look like let's take a look together so yeah got that 
Then I have um, Annie F. Downs, A Life of Lovely. It's a young woman's guide to collecting the moments that matter. I am no longer a young woman, but I figured why not read it myself. And I also have copies of this to give away. So, yes, I have that book. This title that I'm going to tell you guys is what drew me into this. It's a never, never before published book. Um, and it's by Elizabeth Elliot. I believe there is another one. Yeah, so I have another book by her, and I'll show it with you guys. But this is called Suffering is Never for Nothing. Never before published. Can you see that sticker? The title alone is what got me, because a lot of the times we always think suffering um, doesn't have a purpose. But there's a reason why we suffer, and I'm excited to really dive into this book, like, so much. And it's just a thin book. It's really cute. I like it. The other book I have that um, is actually by... Elizabeth's daughter is um, Devotedly, The Personal Letters and Love Story of Jim and Elizabeth Elliot by Valerie Elliot Shepard, which is their daughter. So, um, yeah, it's just a bunch of letters and images written between Jim and um, Elizabeth. And it just says, their paths to God pursues, I'm sorry, their paths, their paths to God's purpose led them together. So... First of all, this cover is cute, and I can't wait to just look at it and see, like, the cute little letters that they wrote back and forth and how God was actually involved in those letters in their story as um, a couple. So, I have that. The last one that I have from b &H is from Tony Evans, and first of all, the cover is gorgeous. It's giving me pink vibes. It has, like, this bronze foiling. I love it. I'm a fan of Tony Evans. I just love his whole family. His daughter, Crystal um his uh daughter priscilla and his son anthony like I, I love them all period but um yeah this is called pathways from providence to purpose this is i believe on the book of esther if i'm not mistaken yes it's on the book of esther it's just uh, just uh, it's just so gorgeous i don't i don't know how else to describe the gorgeousness of this book um and the colors it's just like a muted kind of mauvey pink it's not gonna come up on camera right but um the foiling is more of a bronze it is so gorgeous. I love this. I love it so much and I cannot wait to dive into this so bad. Okay, so the next set of books are actually from a new kind of program that I signed up for and it's called Just Read Tours. And basically what they are um, is that they do takeover tours or book reviews. Um, a lot of these I've signed up for takeover tours. So it's basically where you have to post an original photo on Instagram or if you have Twitter and Facebook, they will send you a photo to um, post on your Facebook or Twitter for that complete day just to help that book um, get promoted or if it's their release day or anything like that. So I signed up for that quite often and got the books to go with them. So um, this one is by Crystal Evans Hurst, which is the daughter of Tony Evans, who is the daughter of Tony Evans, sorry. And this is Show Up For Your Life, What the Girl You'll Be Tomorrow Wants You To Know Today. And I think this is a gorgeous cover. It's really, really pretty. It's blue, white, and I love the butterflies and flowers. So we have that. Then I have from Jill Kelly and Erin Kelly Bean, Prayer and Planning for the Big Day, The Essential Wedding Guide for a Bride and Her Mother. Um, yes, who doesn't want to be married, who doesn't want to plan their wedding, and who doesn't want the help of their mom. So I got this, and because it's um, godly-based, I thought it would be a great one to own, because a lot of the books that I have read about wedding planning are not really godly-based. And um, I've noticed that um, in the past, when I looked at the idea of being married, I never really understood the entire... Um, purpose of marriage on a godly spiritual level and because i'm now more in tune with that i want to get books that are in tuned with that idea so i got this one and yeah there are prayers in here there are different activities you can do and um yeah there, there's a lot of prayers like lots of prayers in a sense you can look at this kind of like a devotional or at least that's how i would look at it personally but um it's very prayer heavy um, and I think that's awesome. So, the, actually the book cover itself. The dust jacket is like this pearlescent kind of peachy pink with white. And the actual cover of the book is white. So, I mean, that just screams bride to me all over. Then I have this one, which, um, it's really more of a clean romance. It's called Inspirational Romance. But, um, I believe it's still considered a Christian romance as well. Don't quote me. I'm just going to show it because I believe it is. Um, but it's called Huck Colorado Cowboy by Mindy Obenhouse. Yeah. Um, it says inspirational, love inspired. It's just about a single mom and a cowboy. 
it's clean romance so that's why i'm including this because i believe that the just reads tours are um like a christian based company don't quote me on that if i'm wrong i'll put on the screen if i'm wrong but if i'm not mistaken they are a christian based company because they do post a lot of like christian related books so yeah um and the last one that i have is called the baggage handler by david rawlings now for some reason i have two copies of this book i don't know why they sent me an art copy but the first copy they sent me was a finished copy so i don't know if they sent the art copy first but then the finished copy came first i have two copies i'm gonna give away the art probably um i don't know i might i don't know but um this is actually an interesting book um it really intrigued me it's called the baggage handler um and first of all colleen coble blurbed it um she writes a lot of like christian based books i haven't read any of her books i want to but it says when three people take the wrong suitcase from baggage claims their lives change forever a hot-headed businessman coming to the city for a shadow for a showdown meeting to save his job, a mother of three hoping to survive the days at her sister's house before her niece's wedding, a young artist pursuing his father's dreams so he can keep his own life. When David, Jillian, and Michael each take the wrong suitcase from baggage claim, the airline directs them to retrieve their bag. I'm sorry, to retrieve their bags at a mysterious facility in a deserted part of the city. There they meet the enigmatic baggage handler who shows them there is more in their baggage than what they have packed and carrying it with them is slowing them down in ways that they can't imagine and they must deal with it before they can leave in this modern day parable about the burdens that weigh us down david rowling's issues an inspiring invitation to lighten the load i mean i think that's amazing that it's taking something out of scripture and transforming it into like a contemporary fiction novel that really allows you to see the scripture come to life um that's what made me want to request this book um because honestly when i saw the cover i was just like yeah i don't want to read it but then something told me to read the synopsis and it really drew me in so i'm definitely going to be giving actually away the art copy of this because um yeah so we have things from um baker publishing group and then also from waterbrook and mount noma so i'm going to start off with baker publishing group you know you guys know that they have different branches they have bethany they have baker books they have chosen they have rebel and they have i think baker academics and something else there's like a six or seven different branches under them right here i just have two of their different branches so i have two from chosen um the first one is called glory carries how to host his presence every day by jennifer I have Ives. I don't know how to pronounce that, but um, it sounds interesting. The cover is gorgeous. Honestly, it, the cover is what got my attention. I'm not going to lie. That's why I requested it, and it's pretty. Um, and then this one, I really just love the idea of the title. It says, God's Favor, Experience in the Life God Wants You to Have by Gary Wilkinson. Wil Wilkerson? Wilkerson, I think that's how you say it. And they're really tiny books, so we have that moving on i have from bethany house so i have freedom the gutsy pursuit of breakthrough and the life beyond it by jennifer renee watson i just love the cover i'm loving the little arrow right here i just i think that it's so cute it's really nice and it's very much shiny and shimmery i don't know if you guys are going to see like the shimmer sheen here but it's really pretty then i have this one which i was so excited about because i'm obsessed with aw tozer i don't know if you can see like these books over here are like my little miniature c.s lewis and aw tozer books um so yeah i'm like collecting a lot of their books to read um because they're well known in the christian community but um this is a cloud by day a fire by night finding and following god's will for your life so yes by aw tozer this is edited and compiled by james l snyder Needed it because it's A.W. Tozer and uh, yeah, had to buy it. So, not buy it, but request it. <laughs> the only fiction that I know for a fact that I got from them, I believe this is the only fiction, yeah, because the other fiction novel I didn't care to get, it was about Amish people. This one um, is more of historical fiction um, and it sounds interesting. It's more of an espionage kind of spy historical fiction and it's called uh, Far Side of the Sea by Kate Breslin. Breslin? I don't know, but um, I'm trying, like I said in a previous video, to expand my Christian kind of fiction genre, and I want to try to get into more historical fiction within the Christian genre, so it sounds interesting, it looks interesting, I love the cover, it's really nice, um, really kind of like dated and whatnot, so we have that. Alright, and like I said, the last books are from Waterbrook and Mount Noma, so I'm excited for these. Um, I'm not sure if I hauled 
this before, but whatever. We have Travis Thrasher's American Omens. Um, I own an arc already on my bookshelf. They sent me two arcs, one to give away, so I have a giveaway coming for this one. I'm not sure if it's going to be an Instagram one, a Facebook one, or whatever. I've actually already hosted two giveaways by the time you see this. Um, I did a Facebook page only giveaway. I did a Facebook group only giveaway. I'm probably going to do a giveaway either here on YouTube or on Instagram for this book. Um, this is a mystery thriller Christian novel. Um, so yes, yeah, futuristic Christian sci-fi kind of thing about omens and yeah i'll do a video about this when i do a giveaway and then i got two copies of a fire and lines by me to andrews this book already came out i have read this i loved it i have a review coming on this a video review um i will link down my written review down below on goodreads and my blog but um this came out on march 5th this book is so good it's biblical fiction it is a book that is based on the story or based on the entire book of daniel it brings the book of daniel to life i loved it so much i do own two copies because one was sent to me by the publishing company and one was sent to me by the author so this one i believe was a copy that was sent from the publishing company the other one i already have tabbed up in red so i am giving this one away already um by the time you see this the person has already received this book because they want it through the uh, Facebook page only giveaway. So we have that. I can't remember if I hauled it. That's why I'm showing it again. Then the last two books are by um, Matthew Sleeth and then Ken Harrison. So this one is called Reforesting Faith. What trees teach us about the nature of God and his love for us. We have this and it sounded really interesting which is why I requested it. And then this one is called Rise of the Servant Kings. What the Bible says about being a man by Ken Harrison. Um, and actually with this one they sent me three copies. <laughs> so I have one copy to read for myself and then two copies to give away so I will be doing um, a men's giveaway on my channel because I know I have a lot of men that follow my YouTube channel which I am forever like grateful for and I'm very very like shocked that men actually watch my channel so I do have a men's only giveaway coming really really soon um, with this book and probably like a journal I'm trying to get some more things for the men because I know you know I want to give back to the men just for their support so we have that and then the extra copy I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with yet uh, because that'll be just two copies one copy for me one for the giveaway and I'll have an extra copy I'm not sure if I'm gonna give it to my son's father one of my brothers I don't know but yeah um but that is it for this haul you guys again I'm sorry about the way I had my head throughout this video I'm still getting used to these things in my head um, they're super cute though. I did like put these few back um, like this because it just feels better. But yeah, um, I think that's it for this video. Um, that blogging video is coming in April. Expect that video in April. I'm going to show you guys how to create a blog, how to sign up for the different programs that I use. Um, and go into depth because I want you guys to see the like authentic kind of feel of it. It might be a little hard because some of the programs um, require you to have blog for like six months or so. But um, I'll show you guys like the logistics of setting up a blog and then signing up for the different programs. So that is it for now. I will see you guys in the next video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about any of these books, leave them down below. You guys know I love to interact with you guys. I don't care if your, your comment is a sentence, a word, or like two paragraphs. I love commenting with you guys, commenting. I love interacting with you guys, um, speaking with you guys, and what not. So, I think that's it for this video. I'm rambling. This video is probably like 30 minutes long. And it was very awkward to record because of my head. But, thank you guys for being with me throughout this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!